Hi, brothers and sisters. So last night, or two nights ago, I think it was now, I had a dream that was similar to the biblical dream of the seven fat cows. And the the bottom line message of the dream was that you will have plenty in a time of lack. Praise the Lord. Then I had a dream of a bride who was getting ready for a wedding, but she wasn't ready. Her hair wasn't ready, her lipstick wasn't on, her veil wasn't ready, her dress wasn't ready, but the guests were already gathering and it it was like time to be ready. Um, And part of it, she kind of peered out and she saw that everyone was already there and they kind of caught a glimpse of her in her unready state. And I believe that represented just a little bit of her feelings of inadequacy. And um, I think, you know, it will also represent something else I'll talk about in the next slide. But what you see as an adequacy in yourself, God sees as the perfect opportunity for his power to be revealed in you. Because God's grace is sufficient for you. It is sufficient for us. When we are weak, he is strong. His grace, his power is made perfect in weakness. Praise the Lord. Now there's another aspect of being ready, being ready for the master to return our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. And he is coming back as a master comes back from a wedding banquet um, to see if his servants will open the door and let him in and be ready and dressed to serve. And a lot of people aren't ready for the Lord Jesus Christ to return. And in part of my dream, there was a table and it was Christmas. But people weren't ready for Christmas. It wasn't, the table wasn't decorated for Christmas. The people just weren't ready. But there was a stack of coloring books that had the name of Jesus on them on the table. It's all about Jesus. Jesus came at his first coming at Christmas to redeem the world, to save the world. And he is waiting for everyone to receive that free gift of salvation that he brought us at Christmas time at his birth and his life and his death and his resurrection and he is coming back for his second coming for and also for the rapture to take those of us who are ready and dressed and watching and those of us who have, who have received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So it's all about Jesus. Come to the table. Come to the table and be ready for Jesus return. Receive Jesus today. Praise the Lord. I had another dream last night, and I was using my navigator in my car. I was on my way to USC for an outreach event, and there was a gal there with a crock pot full of food, and she was preparing to serve people. Um, It was going to be a Friday night, but things were so crazy there. She waited until Saturday the next day until things calmed down a little bit, and so she could um, talk about, you know, the true meaning of life and, you know, probably talk about Jesus while serving people and meeting their needs through food. And she was using large bags of potatoes and food to prepare her crock pot meals. And I was like, let's be a mutual blessing here. I'll pay you for some bags of these food and so you can have money for your ministry and then I'll send the bags of food to Africa so that they will have some food. And it was just a discussion about how to be a mutual blessing. When God pours out his blessing and his plenty upon us, we want to share that blessing with others because we are blessed to be a blessing. So may God make you increase, brothers and sisters, and may you use that increase to bless others and keep the blessing going and pay it forward. God bless you. Amen.